New at six tonight, it has been almost four months since tornadoes heavily damaged Alto ISD. Right now, they're working round the clock preparing for the first day of school. KETK's Matt Thibodeau was first to report live from the campus after the storms. He went back to show us how it's changed since then. Three and a half months have gone by since that fateful day in April, but every day there's still a reminder of what happened. Tarps on roofs, exposed ceilings, portable buildings, and the constant sound of construction. It's our new normal. There will be, you know, a new pattern to our flow up here this year, but uh, our kids are resilient and our community is supportive and we will make the best of this bad situation. In that time, crews have been working from daylight to dark to get everything ready for the first day of school. It's about the kids. It's not about the money or the time and getting it done. It's about getting the kids back in school. But the road to a full recovery is rarely a smooth one. We have run into a roadblock with our insurance. Things have slowed down considerably as far as payments coming in. We are staying the course though. In the meantime, they still have a school to renovate with certain areas taking top priority. The cafeteria, there, the band hall, the portion, there's a math wing of classrooms near the band hall. We need all of those facilities in order to start school. And though there's still plenty of work to be done on the high school, many are just ready to return to some kind of normal again. To see it come together, it, it's, it's reassuring and it's comforting. Especially for those students who are already back in the classroom. Alto's band camp is marching on with the beat of the music, preparing to take on the next year on and off the field. I'm ready to get it started so that we can deal with whatever we're going to have to deal with going forward. But I think the football season will kind of bring everybody back together and give us that sense of normalcy that we need. Tentatively, the first day of school will be August 19th, unless construction is further halted. But Alto says they're ready for anything at this point. Matt Thibodeau, KETK News.